Welcome guys to the Skull Army. Um, today we are playing Tech Corp. Um, I want to thank the developers for allowing me to test their game out and approving my key on Key Meller. Um, and uh, I'll put the link to the game on, uh, on in the description um, for their Steam page as well as the Discord server. Um, basically, if you can't tell by the background and the name, um, basically, it's a, uh, it's a company business type management game where you can basically create anything technological, pretty much. So as you can see, I kind of messed around with, um, a couple different things. And we'll mainly to unlock sandbox mode because you have to complete the tutorial in order to get sandbox. Uh, challenge mode is coming soon though. So what we're going to do is we're going to make... I don't know why, but like... It no longer accepts spaces, which I don't understand why. Um, so we're just going to do that and then sandbox mode. Now here's here's the problem that I have with this game. So of course you have all your different regions you can click on and each region has its own interest ratings, demograph age demographics, um, as well as the population of the country which I think is neat. Um, however, I don't like the fact that Alaska is a part of Canada, like this entire area and I'm pretty sure this part's not even a part of Canada. But this is Alaska, so why the fuck is it in Canada? So you, the developers need to fix that because that is not correct. You, you got Hawaii correct. This is Hawaii right here. That's part of the United States. Of, so that that's correct. Now you just gotta add Alaska. I don't know why it was why. I don't know why you can't put Alaska with the United States because it's not. A, it's not a Canadian state. It's a, it's part of the United States. Um, I'm not. I don't. And so for that reason, I don't even think the developers are from America or North America at all, Be, or else they would have known that. I mean, pretty much anywhere that's not a third world country would know that. Not assuming they are in a third world country, but uh, yeah. I think that's pretty obvious that Alaska is not part of Canada. Um, so that's the only thing that really pisses me off as as I as patriotic as I am in the United States. Um, so that's the only issue I really have. There's this isn't early access, um, it's alpha or beta or whatever. Um, so there will be bugs, there will be glitches, there will be shit that are not supposed to happen. However, I haven't actually seen any bugs or anything actually when I was playing this off video. Sorry, I was about to yawn. Um, another thing, home consoles and portable consoles. I get the portable console because like the PSP and the PS Vita are kind of dead. But the home consoles are, I don't think that percentage is correct. 21%. Because of how many people have an Xbox One, or just any Xbox, or a PlayStation, or a Nintendo, or a Wii, or whatever. Um, so that, I don't think this is correct. Games, I don't know how that's maxed out and only at 43%. So I think those are some bugs, because if this is a 43, this should not be filled up even. Because the, with the phone, it's 90%. See, that makes sense with how filled up that is. But that's not. And see, this is 45%, the laptops. So this should be this. So the laptop percentage should be the same thing as the games, but a little bit lower. I don't think desktops and um, is the correct percentage either. Considering how many people and businesses and companies and everyone 
uh, uses a la this computer every day. Maybe the laptops, I don't know. I don't know where they're getting a lot of these uh, stats from, but I think a lot of it's not uh, correct. Um, but, uh, other, and then the little bar feeling thing is incorrect as well on the, um, cause a hundred percent of everyone does not, that does not like games. Not everyone likes games. There's people that actually are actually against it and don't understand the reasoning behind it. Um, and such as like the people 50 up, 35 to 49, just about around there. And younger ages too. There's some that don't understand video games. So this should not be filled up to 100. Not even 90. I would say about 30 to 50%. This should be filled. Um, because you have people that don't support it. And you have people that play it. That do support it. Um, but I, that that's all I really. That and the whole Alaska thing. Is about the only issue I have with this game so it's confirmed so we can start our company so hey here's some stuff tech corp has to offer um, you can create your own platform such as um, your own version of Steam PlayStation Network or Xbox Live of course you can of course you name your own platform add various things as much as you want um, upgrade, fix, bugs, and all that good stuff. Um, Add-ons, uh, which can be actually used for your platform, added to your platform. Um, so you can create what we call add-ons to your products. These are things that take your product from something like a console and add automatic cloud storage or a camera and a photo stabilizer. Add-ons are what add spice to your products to make them stand out. And then you have kind of going in order here but you have game development which is create games and add them as exclusives to your platforms to keep your users happy I have not tried out game development yet because uh, it told me that I have to buy a game studio but there's no option to buy a game studio um, and then you have your marketing which is bid on marketing events such as music festivals or a circle soccer world cup preview or a game seven of a basketball championship and more Negotiate days and plan out the best type of campaign for each product. I actually kind of like this. I actually find the marketing tools actually kind of fucking hilarious. Um, because you can get celebrity endorsements. Um, celebrities to play in your commercials. Um, and some of the people I found that I saw were quite hilarious. Because they have like Kanye West in it. It's basically a bunch of real celebrities. But with a different name. Because like Kanye West was renamed to Kanye East. And then there was like Grey Still Graves. Which is um, a rena which they renamed after um, Grey Still Plays. Which is a YouTube channel where he basically just tries to break games. Um, it's, and um, then there's others like Chris Pratt. But they spelled it differently. I can't remember how. And then there's like Billy Eilish. Or something like that, which is, of course, renamed after Billy Eilish. I don't know how to pronounce her name right. <laughs> then you also have your NBA championships, your World Cup. Um, NBA, I think it's, they renamed it to, of course, it's NBA. Um, and then you have a bunch of other things. Um, and then you have your server management. Buy and maintain a worldwide fleet of sh servers to ensure your platform set on its run. Also sign clearance there an extra income for renting out your devices. Make sure to keep an eye on them or else they will crash. Uh, award shows. Win awards for your products and games. Boost your brand and global standings. I have not reached that point yet. Um, I have not traded that out yet. So I haven't been too far into this off video. Um, but that's what we're here for and that's what we're going to do. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, now we have a loans, which loans don't start coming in till your second or third upgrade um, of Office. Of course, we get it everything unlocked at the start because it's in creative mode. Um, another thing I did find out during the creative mode is that your money just is not unlimited. I think a creative mode means that it should be unlimited. 
It means you can do a lot of things at once without needing the grind. That's what a creative mode is. I don't I don't know about you guys, but my years of playing Minecraft have told me creative mode. Everything's unlimited. You don't need to really grind. Um but uh even though that was a joke. Um so basically, yeah, so this needs to be fixed. Um, just about any game that has a creative mode needs to have limited money if it's a management type game with a uh, currency in it. Um, or else it's... Because I know it's like a management type tune type game and it, the whole point of it is making money. But you, but what's the point of a creative mode if you don't have unlimited money? Like, it doesn't regenerate or anything unless you get a loan, really. Um, which then doesn't even regenerate. It just makes you lose money a lot more. Um, but seriously, if you're not going to add unlimited money, you might as well just scrap the whole idea of creative mode and remove it because it's just it's just pointless to have one, really, um, if you're going to not allow it to be in actual creative mode. It should just be named everything unlocked type of... Uh, mode everything unlocked mode um start with everything mode or something like that really because that's all it really is right now of course it's early access it's in an alpha of course things are g not gonna be a, the way that they're supposed to be or they're hope hopefully intended to be such as the alaska thing or the demographics or even the money in creative mode um so of course we have our factory. We get our first fact, unlock the factory. And once we get to our second upgraded uh, place, um, and then here's your part prototyping. Which once we start unlock researching various components, we can do that. We can also manage get our own servers, which I don't I don't remember, which we don't really get to start doing until a couple upgrades in. Um, on a regular mode of course you can do various ones um, I would like to see the prices change depending on the country because not every country is the same um, not every country is the same price um, like even in US dollars um, every all these countries that like Canada Europe um, what is that Europe no, oh, that's Asia. So yeah, like Asia, Canada, um, Europe, and Mexico. I don't know what other c countries have. Um, have their own currencies, and all those currencies equal different amounts of money for value in exchange for U.S. dollars. Um, because like, w like a euro might co may be like five. Five euros might be like one dollar. It just depends on the market. I'm um, really, um, of course, that I was an example. I don't actually know what it's worth right now, but a euro is not so in the United States. If you rent one, it's not going to be this much. It's not going to be um, seven hundred and fifty to ten thousand dollars. Like it'll be that in the United States because that's the currency there. But if you go over to Europe, it's still it's gonna be either higher or lower than ten grand to seven hundred and fifty grand. Um, of course, I did not see the K there, um, but again, still it's the same price. Like all these need to be different prices because they're in different values um, when it's being shown into U.S. currency. So a lot of these need to be either higher or lower than the actual price that you can get in the U in the US. So that's also another thing that needs to change. Um, it's more realistic market values. Um, you have your brands, you have your franchises, apps, add-ons, franchise. Franchise I think are video games, apps, of course that's kind of common sense there. Um, add-ons, that's where all your add-ons, when you make add-ons or whatever, that's when you, uh, it'll show here and you have your brands which is uh, stuff you make through a factory Have your shop which is very basic for the moment. I would like to see an expansion to this. Hopefully they will uh, more advanced desks 
I can tell this is also based in like the 70s or something because of the box TVs and the box computers. Um, there is no such thing as a flat screen in this game right now. Um, you have your manager, you have your engineer, and your basic desks, foot, foosball, fridge, TV, water cooler, couch. If you're going to add foosball, put in a pool table, will you? Uh, you have your light intensity. Customization is, of course, still very basic. You have your um, different colors, which is free at the moment to change uh, your lighting and your paint schemes. I don't know why anyone would want to paint this black because it's just a uh, weird depressing as fuck color you have your finances where you can take loans see your income uh, expenses all that good stuff and you have your software creation which you have your platforms name your platform platform type which is PC phone console uh, and then hosting so that's your servers so if you do in-house you have to have your own servers or if you want to do external I think it costs a bit more then you have your add-ons and features which you can start adding on stuff once you unlock certain things or build certain things and you can add those to things like um, your platform you have your apps which should be unlocked soon once we advance further um, then we have let's see here your employees um, so your hired employees are here uh, any employees that or any pe anyone that you may uh, may be looking for will show up here so like you can go and choose one of these sell as executive programmer lead developer researcher engineer marketer manager um, and you can pick the level so whether it be like a straight out of college grad um, newbie type person straight out of the gates so to speak to to a high level experienced rock star employee basically because of how experienced they are um, and as well as the duration of the um, recruitment essentially and then that costs money depending on how long you do it and the paychecks that they require depending on how good they are and of course you have your world map which you can unlock various other countries which I think you can also then sell to increasing your profit but it costs five million to do so of course I think this should all still be changed because five million will be the same for everywhere because again they all have their own currencies and they're all different in price um, but uh, let's um Let's start this here. Um, so we're gonna get a basic desk here because we do not have enough for. Well, we don't. We're not big enough to need a manager, and I don't really like the way the managers are set up at the moment, which we can get into later. Um, so right now we're just gonna try to build a project here. Then we have. Where is it? So we have a TV. So the, the TV will differ upon the upgrades that you, the upgraded apartments, so or upgraded offices. So the the last upgrade you can get this actually turns into like a full like entire couch and some chairs and some plants and everything. Um. So yeah. Excuse. I don't really like this color. Let's go back here. Hmm. Okay, so now that we have three desks, we can go in and hire three people. So we have our sales executive, so that person's going to make uh, software, hardware, however. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let me start recruitment. Put in a few more uh, desks here because we're going to need a bunch of programmers for what I, what we're going to be doing soon so now we can view them, we can clean the list once we're done um, of course the age it shows the age, gender, energy experience, negotiation, sales, endurance, productivity, 
productivity uh, for a cost, salary, hours left, or salary depends on their experience and how good they are, of course. So I always try to go for the cheapest ones when I first start out. Um, so there's that, so we can clear this. Um, and we can start recruitment again once the duration of the recruitment has ended. So now we're going to want a bunch of programmers. So let's see here. So we're just going to wait. So here's one guy I'm going to hire. See here, 30 grand again. Another 30 grand. There we go. Now we're going to hire a researcher. Oh, here, let's clean that list. Um, researcher. So this guy's going to unlock a bunch of equipment, various things that we can use to help make our products better. There we go, another 30k. So there we go, boom. So now that we're going to do that, we can start assigning people. So you just click this little crossbone type looking deal and you can just click assign on whoever you want to be that desk to be filled with. So then, um, where's my researcher? You can have him research stuff. Um, when you first start out on regular mode, a lot of this is locked. I think it's utility hardware that is only re re unlocked, really. Everything else is kind of not, really. Try not to, uh, oof. So basically, we can start doing this because we're going to need special things if we want to do TVs or any of that. And clean this so we don't get notified again. Programmer, programmer. So there's executive. So we want to do software contracts. Um, close. So I think we can actually accept all of these, maybe. That's probably a bad idea. And so now what we can do. I'm going to pause this just so we don't. Um, so we're going to want UI components now. All these people will be different speeds um, of what they can do. Optimization. Where is it? Of course, it shows the symbol of where it's at. Um, see, like this person is really slow in that. So if you go in the back end, they're a lot faster because they know more about that in that field. Of course, this is why I always like, I think I need an engineer for this. Yeah. So I guess, so then we can get an engineer desk. We can hire a new engineer. Here, start recruitment. Wait for the cheapest one to pop up, which I'm impatient sometimes, so I just hire the next one. This assign, close, close. Select like blueprint. Review, clean list. Now of course, these guys have energy, like I said, so you're gonna have to manually put them on breaks until you get to the point of having a manager. Um, which this guy I think is just going to continue the research. Close. Okay, you can start working again. You can work again. You can take a break. Okay, so now we have UI components almost ready. Um, okay, you can work. UI components and then this guy's doing this so then he can stop doing that and make optimization or is that the one he's slow at yeah now he, so let's have him do database then how fast okay photo component okay so he's fast with that and what are you working on okay so are you fast with this one nope uh, 
see here. Database? Maybe. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh-huh. So now, let's stop this guy and then have him do... This is why you need a bunch of programmers because they are all really slow. Another thing I like is the ability to hold shift down while, um, so you don't have to keep going into the store and buying and buying and buying and buying. It's just kind of annoying. Yeah, why not? So assign and assign. Um, what do you are you good at this? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, what about what are you good at? You're good with those. Holy shit. Okay. Stop with that because you're slow as fuck. Audio components. How good are you with those? Not very good. Nope. Close. Optimizations? Probably horrible, aren't you? Yep. Which one are you fast with? You are so fucking slow. The only bad thing is that I wish they would, they should add the ability to train people so that they are faster. Um, that's another thing that they need to get done. This is the problem with adding multiple contracts because you're going to fail a bunch of them if you had multiple and at the start already. So is anybody working on the camera? So the break. So this is what happens when they get to the, into the red. They start working really slowly, which is not good for a workflow. I have a fucking TV and you're telling me that there's... What's the point of the TV? Sell the furniture then if it's not going to do anything. Put down a freezer. How about that right now? We're in front of that shelf so nobody can access it. Why not? Break. So like all my programmers are basically on break. Okay, so you're done. Um, can, how fast are you with those? Okay. You're actually... Can you do these decently? Yes. Okay, how good are you with those? Okay, you're good with those. What about this? Okay, this? Okay, we're not going to finish um, the bottom one. Guarantee it. Uh, let's try to finish at least the top one, hopefully. Yep, see, contract built. New edition of done multiple ones. Decline. Decline. Oh my god. Uh, where's my marketer at? Sales executive, stop. Decline. Okay, you need to go back on to doing this, or... You're not the one that's fast on those, are you? He is working on that one. Are you good with this one? No, you're not. Okay, you can go back to doing whatever it was you were doing. I'm gonna fail this. Okay. I don't care, we're going to have everyone working on that. And then of course you have your option to speed up. And then you can just continue a prototype. Start, start engineering, break.
have yeah, so once you get a prototype done a blueprint done it'll show you right here in the bar that that feature add-on is now available so then you can start using it for your products rather that be your apps your platform um, or your products um, let's see here if we can thing is also is when you upgrade you'll actually uh, have to reassign all your employees to a new desk meaning you have to buy everything new again come on we're so close dude oh ha, fuck it close see Every time a blueprint comes up, and we just keep doing it. Since we have four million dollars, we can keep doing this. Um, and then we can go back on to the sales mark type person software. Except this one. We can have her stop for right now. He was on video components. Forgot who that was. Was it this person? And then you have, you can stop this guy. You can have him do UI components then. Work. Work. And then this person, stop. Make these things. Gen 3. Close. Okay, the algorithm. How fast you with those? You like components. Okay. So, what? how good are you with the other algorithms? Okay. Are you good with algorithms? Okay, you can't probably tell how fast you are because you guys need a break. Do, 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 do. well I don't want to make this video too long guys so um if you haven't yet uh, like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss another video like this and more um, I will be I'm moving out soon so hopefully I can hopefully I can actually live stream a bunch I plan on live streaming a bunch with this clan I help manage uh, for the division 2 we're also expanding into Ghost Recon Wildlands soon um, and probably bring point in the new Call of Duty once they come out. And uh, again, thank you to the developers for approving my key on Keymailer to allow me to uh, review this uh, beautiful and actually decent game. Um, I just noticed this person's invisible. She's doing a plank or something here. Um, but anyways, uh. It's actually the first bug I actually encountered so far. Um, guys, uh, like and subscribe. Like I said, uh, thank you to the developers. I'll put the links in the description below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.